Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy from Evolution Aqua. Today we're here to talk about a new product in the Aquascaper range and I'm here with George Farmer. Hi, Hi George. Hi mate, how are you? Very good. So exciting times, we have a product launch and it's the Aquascaper glass pipework set. Awesome. Comes in two sizes, 16mm and 12mm. Yeah. So talk to us about glassware George. Yeah, so glassware is a passion of mine I guess. I love glassware and it's for me it's all about minimising the distraction of ugly equipment in an aquascape. In aquascaping, you want to be looking at the, at the actual scape itself. You want to minimise any any ugly equipment, any distraction. And so that's where the glass inlet and outlet come in. So let's have a look. So out of the box we get, what's that? So that's the inlet. So... No, that's not a standard looking inlet, is no, it? No, it's, 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 it's a really right. cool. So um, this is basically a surface skimmer. So that goes in there, that floats automatically adjusts to the surface and that draws in water through here as well as through these slots here. Now you can adjust the rate it draws in through there by turning this. Yep. Uh, it's just a really cool way of, of skimming the surface. In, in planted tanks you often get a, a surface scum which you is do, really yeah. unsightly. <clears throat> Actually um, it, it's quite bad for oxygen exchange, it, you know, it's just not a very, not a very good thing. So we like, like to skim the surface. Yep. We often, a lot, a lot of people will use a dedicated surface skimmer, yep. which are unsightly. Yeah, they're so, not glass, are they? No, exactly. No. And you can get steel ones. But Another even piece of kit, something else to plug, plug in, in as well. Yeah, more electricity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the principle is simple, isn't it? It's floating. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a really well-designed bit of kit. Two in one. Um, it comes with uh, high-quality rubber suction cups as well. Cups okay. For that, so it just sits in the tank. So we've got an Aquascope 300 cube here. Uh, this is a little bit overkill for this size aquarium, but you can. It's just for demonstration, demonstration purposes. purposes. So you get your suction caps, they fit on there, two suction caps, so it's going to be guaranteed to be vertical. So we've got some hot water here just to make fitment easier of the suction caps, so just pop that in the water there, like so. Um, a lot of a lot of these will come with one and mm -hmm. and therefore you you can get potentially uneven it's always wonky isn't it yeah so because the hoses are so strong they're always they're always pulling pulling yeah. it at an angle and you know just top tip do handle it with care it is glass so it is fragile yeah be, be careful <laughs> Th these these are wine glasses effectively so yeah. if you break a wine glass it's kind of yeah. not the fault of so, the manufacturer no exactly so do handle with extreme yeah, care. Yeah, glass on glass as well is always a bit of a tricky thing. So this is just for demonstration purposes. Obviously, this would be ideal for you know an aquascape of six hundred upwards. Okay, cool. So that's fitted. Uh, really simple. Minimum distraction on the aquascape, as you can tell. So now let's do the outlet, which is called a lily pipe. Yeah. And you can see why because of the shape. So well packaged, as you can see. And well, again, the packaging is important, isn't it? Because yeah. we, we we try our best to uh, insulate it. Yeah. Exactly. So this has got the one suction cap which I'll fit right now. Any advantage to lily pipes over other shaped outlets? Um, yes. So what you can get is a really cool uh, vortex creation. So depending on how close the water surface is to the to the top of the lily pipe, you can create a little whirlpool, mm. and that can drag in the surface scum as well. Mm. And if you've got food, floating food, that will drag it in and fire the food out mm. to feed the fish, etc. So it does have some benefits. Mm. Uh, what a lot of people do on an evening before they go to bed is they just raise up their lily pipe to get super aeration as well. And that helps to clear the surface scum, although obviously you won't be getting any because of this. Mm. Um, and it, and, it, and the, the, the water hydrodynamics, we call it, the water movement out of here is really great for like a more of a laminar flow. So you'll get, you can use like high levels of circulation, but you're not creating excess turbulence because of the shape of this. Whereas if you had a, a standard sort of straight pipe, Jet. you're going to get much more of a turbulent flow, which is suitable for some aquascapes and fish, but I prefer this myself. Style. Okay, great. Um, so in terms of the diameters, so we've got a 12 mil set and a 16 mil set. Yeah. We've been testing this 16 mil set on my home filter, 1500 litres an hour, no problem no at problem, all. Yeah. Strong flow. You can actually see, you know, the particles of dirt going in, and, and with the adjustment, it's really nice to be able to tweak it. Yeah. Like last night when I was playing around with it, I tweaked it so that I had just a little bit pulling in through the surface bit, so yeah. all my surface go gone in seconds. Yeah. And then I'm tweaking it so that I've still got 
what they term bottom scavenging as well. Yeah. So I've got top and bottom scavenging. Yeah. You can't ask for any more really. So it's a really good bit of kit. You know, the UK market's been crying out for these for a while. Okay. Um, I'm really excited to launch them. Good. Um, the Echoscoper brand. Um, just a top tip as well, when we're fitting our hose, clear hose is obviously best for that minimal impact. It does show up dirt more frequently, but you know, um, it's always good to keep your Any tips anyway. for fitting hose? Yeah, so I'm just doing that right now. So if you just keep, get again, put it in hot water, and then you can, you can do it in situ if you're very, very careful. But if you're a little bit unsure. I think our table's too close, isn't it? Normally it would go into a... Okay, so you've got a bit of lubrication and it's softened the hose exactly up as well. Exactly, and now when that cools down, that's going to grip onto that, no problem. And then taking it off, you can, if you're just very careful, take it off the, the aquarium. And then you can actually, if you push the glass in very slightly into the hose, it kind of unlocks it if you, it releases the seal, and then you can twist and pull. Okay. There's a bit of an act to it, you'll soon get used to it, but just like, like I say, treat it with care. Be careful. It is yeah. glass. What about cleaning them? These look amazing, but there's nothing worse than dirty. Yeah, so personally, I like to keep my glassware super clean. <coughs> I clean it every two or three weeks. Okay. And you have dedicated hose brush for that. They're commonly available. And it's basically a flexible brush on a flexible wire, and yeah. you just go in one end, go through the other end, give it a rinse with, with fresh tap water. Do you use bleach or? No, not not no. Don't use bleach. Just hot hot running tap water is all I use. The outside might get algae on it, so you can just brush that off with yeah. a, with a pad or a toothbrush. Uh, but yeah, it is important to keep them clean, guys, because you know you, it's all about the aesthetics and minimising this mm. impact. If you imagine this was like coated in brown stuff or, or green stuff, it would mm. just totally defeat the object. I quite like with this one, I've used lots of glassware over the years, I quite like with this one how wide the slots are. I'm, I'm a sucker for... Um, sucker. Ve yeah. <laughs> Shoes a pun. Uh, for velocity. So, so, so basically, to me, gla uh, bad glassware is when it's only got a few very small, very narrow slots. If yeah. you've got a 1500 litre an hour filter sucking through tiny slots, That's you get really high velocity. Yeah. You'll get snails stuck to it, plant leaves stuck to it, but yeah. worse still, you can get little fish stuck to yeah, it. This one has got loads of really, really wide yeah. slots and you've got this surface here. So by tweaking it and yeah. pulling from the top and the bottom, your velocity is strong enough to take particles, but low yeah. enough to you know, yeah. not get stuff stuck to it. Yeah, and other little tips as well. You can actually tell how clogged your filter is by the, how, how much that's drawing. Yeah. So when you get really experienced and you've been using this for months, maybe years, you'll soon kind of get to know your equipment really well and you can, you know, oh, I need to clean my filter because they're that. The suction through those much re re reduced. Yes. Well, well, on the subject of that, you were saying off camera about how you use it as a kind of a barometer for cleaning as well. Yeah. I mean, if you've got dirty pipes, your filter probably needs cleaning, yeah. your pipes need cleaning, do you need to do a water change? You know, it's all kind of, exactly. it's your prompt, isn't it? It is, yeah. And it, all these things I had to go, you take a holistical approach, if you like, with all the equipment. And it's all about just making that you know, aquascape and all the equipment working together to create you know, a beautiful aquarium. Brilliant, so um, two sets, it's called the Aquascaper Glass Pipework set, available in 12mm and 16mm sizes. The 12mm is 49.99, right. the 16mm is 59.99, available in all good Evolution Aqua dealers. Yeah, that's a really good price, and, and that's the set, that's the outlet and, and the inlet. Inlet and outlet, no, no, no trips, yeah. no, um, it's all complete. As um, long as you've got an external filter and some external hose. filter. Vast majority of 12 or 16 mil fittings. Absolutely. So um, suitable for you know, probably 95% of the externals out there. Great. Get yours today. Thanks, George. Cheers, mate.